Hi guys, my name is Jimmy McIntyre and welcome to Raya Pro. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Raya Pro and in particular how to use the Raya Pro Hub. Now before we begin, I just want to say that if you're interested in taking your photography to a whole new level, just look next to this video and you will see a link to my Exposure Blend Like an Expert course, which will show you how to blend exposures in a whole range of different scenes and come out with a really professional finish. And if you're interested in taking your photography a little bit further than that, with more advanced techniques, with discussion on composition, with shooting techniques, then below that you'll see my Art of Photography course, which is my most popular course. Now let's look at the hub. So Raya Pro Hub, I recommend you take and drag up to the top panel in Photoshop because the functions in here are really useful at pretty much any point in our workflow. Now, as with most panels in Raya Pro, you can enable tooltips and hover your mouse over the functions and that will tell you what each function does. And the great thing about the hub is you have access to a whole range of great tutorials right here. And if you'd like, you can go down to the sign up option and this will allow you to sign up to my website for free tutorials and you'll receive a link to my free Photoshop course, which is a comprehensive video course, completely free. So by all means, visit my website, sign up to the newsletter, and you'll get lots of great tutorials in the future. So one thing I wanna quickly show you in the hub is probably the function that you'll use most if you're interested in exposure blending, and that's the stack button here. So if you open up multiple exposures in Photoshop, you'll see that we have multiple windows open one for each of the exposures. We wanna collapse these windows into one and layer our exposures here. And we do that by pressing stack. And there we go. We now have our two exposures in one window. Now the align button will align all of our exposures so that they're not misaligned. Del layer will allow us to delete a layer and del mask, that's really useful because often when we want to delete a mask, we have to first make sure we've got the mask selected then we can right click and delete layer mask or we can press this button here and then press delete or I can just press delete mask and we have to do that sometimes when we're using luminosity masks. Now the highlight shadow and adjust functions are really useful in fact we can use them as very simple but effective exposure blending tools because what highlights does is it creates a mask that targets the highlights. Let me just open up let's say a curves layer here and I want to bring down the highlights in this image. Well, I can press highlights. And you see now on this mask, we've created a mask that's targeting mainly the highlights. Now I would say that's not a very targeted mask because lots of the image is selected. So we can press this adjust button. And that allows us to bring the sliders along and create a more targeted mask. So now if I press OK and I open this curves layer, you see, we're changing the brightness of only those brighter tones. And you can see that reflected here in the curves layer. And we can do the same with shadows. We can click on shadows there, and you'll see if I press adjust what the mask looks like, and we can make that more targeted if we want. So we're just affecting the buildings, and I can press OK. And with the curves layer, I can just bring up the shadows like that. Now in terms of exposure blending, let me delete this layer. I can create a highlights layer on this darker layer because I wanna bring through the sky from that darker layer. Now, as you can see, that looks really bad because we haven't prepared our files for exposure blending, which is an essential step when exposure blending, which you'll see in my exposure blend like an expert course. But I can just bring down the opacity of this darker layer and you'll see that does bring back information in the sky. I still don't think that's a great final result, but it's better than having really overexposed areas. So let's say if I have that layer at about 30%, we've now got information in that sky. Now the final function is merge. This allows us to merge all of our layers, but non-destructively. So we have a layer on top and we still have our previous layers. So that allows us to work on this layer without removing or affecting the layers below. And just to give you another example of how useful the highlights and shadows functions are, let's say I wanna add more brightness to this sunset. Maybe it's a little bit too dark. Well, I can open up a levels layer and I could you know, bring up the highlights that way, but you see it's affecting the whole image. Instead, I can just press highlights and then I can go to adjust 
And if I bring down the mid-tone slider, you see we're affecting mainly the brighter part of the sky there, beyond the building. And so if I press OK, now look at our change. We're just brightening up that sunrise area. Or I can create a photo filter with lots of warmth. Let's choose a different filter. I think I'll go for, yeah, I think that filter's a little bit better. And now you see we're affecting most of the image. In fact, we're affecting all of the image. So if I make that strong, just for demonstration purposes, again, I can go to highlights. And now we're affecting just the brighter parts of the image. But what if I don't want to affect the sky up here? You see that's turned a little bit too warm. Well, again, I can go to adjust, just as I did before, and bring along the mid-tone slider, press OK. And now we're just affecting that sunset area. So I'm going to zoom in. There we go. There's after, before. You see, we're changing the warmth of that area. So that's just a quick tutorial showing you how useful the hub can be in Raya Pro. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.